prove it. This Mabo curry is amazing. You get along so well. Is he your brother? No. No, he wouldn't be, would he? After all, your brother was murdered before your eyes. How do you know that? The shadows watch those who flinch from the light. So the guild is still active, even after Baskerville's arrest? That's right. Just like how Eifried's crew continues their piracy, even without their captain. So you're the contact? What may I help you with? I want to know what Artorius is planning. Information such as that? It won't come cheap. I have here a list of jobs. Not one remotely legal. Take care of all of them, and I'll tell you what you want to know. You gonna make me go do jobs? Are you serious? That, that fucking threw me off. She was like, well, yeah, I know. Your brother was killed before your eyes. I was like, even if, even if like, you're part of the shadows, like some sort of shadow organization, like, how did you know about that from, like, that many years ago? Like, that's pretty nuts. Um, let's, uh, let's go, uh, destroy goods, I guess. Port Zexon. Alright, sure. Well, we gotta do everything, so we might as well just go. Take this with you as documentation. It's fake, but it's a good fake. It'll hold up to inspection. It's registered to Mogulu's Menagerie. Oh? Was that not the name you gave to the guard at the gate? <laughs> I can see you're a group to be reckoned with. Report back here once you're finished. However, be aware that should you fail... Then this conversation never took place. Got it. I'll cause you no trouble. I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome to stay the night, free of charge. Forget about work until the morning comes. <sighs> right. You're missing Captain Eifried. The captain has done much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for no charge. Thanks. All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. And that Legate Melchior is connected to the captain's disappearance. How? We don't know. Sounds like you've got problems of your own. Do you really have time to take on ours as well? I could ask you why you've tied yourself up with Velvet. Me? <laughs> I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. A demon repaying a debt? Ridiculous. As ridiculous as a pirate Moloch, you think? Hmm. No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. And in this brave new world governed by reason, a rogue can either rage and become a monster like me, or... Or band together with others. Like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Exactly. I admire Velvet's courage, squaring off against the whole world on her own. Few can accomplish that. It takes strength real strength and i'm curious where it comes from so you're doing it for yourself after all is that so wrong <sighs> no i'm the same i need allies on my side with the strength and courage to combat this so-called order imposed by the abbey but anyone who's willing to put up with the creed folly of eifried's pirates <laughs> Has to be an even bigger fool than we are. So I'm like you. 
I want to know how deep her foolishness goes. She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. It's a compliment. Fools that big aren't born every day. Aha. Uh -huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Aye. That man flies his fool flag proudly. The Shepherd Artorius, hmm? He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. I wonder... Hmm... Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroines scar this broken world of ours? I've got a traitor to find, but in the meantime, this should be a good show. Having too much fun there? All right. Hey. That's it. I've come up with a new recipe. Every time. Um wow. Like I really enjoyed that scene between Aizen and um Rokuro. I also have to say they were getting pretty goddamn drunk. Like they they kept going. They were like pouring so much. I was I was just like, guys. You got to calm down. That's like your fifth drink in 30 seconds throughout this cutscene. Calm down. <laughs> like, they were going at it. So, anyway, Mysteries of the Shadow Guild. A kind face for such a hard woman. She knew about me and our cover. She's got ears everywhere. And that's not all. She called the papers fake, but they're not. So she's got spies working on the inside, too. I heard that her predecessor, Baskerville, was a monument against authority. To think he was executed. They've lost their leader, but remain unconquered. Not an organization to trifle with. That's how they have to be to take on the Abbey. We'd better succeed on our missions, and not just to get the information we need. Yeah. Besides, I'd like to get another of those drinks, too. You're a man of taste. That place always has the best. Uh, you'd better work hard, too, if you want more Mabo curry. I will. Oh, Laffy. All right, well, let's get going. We got to go, um... Who are, uh, who, who are you? Serving game? No. I know about that from Abyss. I never want to deal with it again. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. I guess we'll find out. It also seems that Moggy Lou is going to be sticking around us for quite a while. Seems like she's enjoying the show quite a bit, so I'm, I'm in... I'm intrigued to see what exactly she what what role she wants to play in all this. But let's talk to this guy. That ceremony was simply fantastic. Lord Artorius's speech was brilliant, of course, but Prince Percival was really something too. He raises up Artorius to help the country and its people, then willingly steps down. Now that's what I call a king. You think so? Well, to me, he just looks like a wimp. He may look that way, but he has a great inner strength. He's excelled as a scholar and a leader since he was young. His only hobby is falconry, but sadly, I hear he hasn't had the time for it lately. You seem like a big supporter of his. Well, he's got two younger brothers, but just between you and me, they're dolts. Worse, they hang with a bad crowd. If anything were to happen to Prince Percival, the future of Midgand would be bleak. I see. So everyone's hopes are riding on him, then. Which means Midgan's vulnerable without him. Man, I wonder if something's going to happen to the prince. 
I wonder if I wonder if he's just gonna eat shit at some point. You know, I'm I I just can't put my finger on it, but I think he might end up eating shit sometime soon. Who knows? I'm just gonna do a quick glance around and see if there's anything waiting for me. Did I? I didn't really check this area too well, so let me look if there's any like treasure. I know it's kind of a waste of time, but we can always, like, probably cut to the port to make things a little quicker. So I'll probably do that, but I just want to look around quick second. I mean, did I check this place? No, I didn't. Good. Get a holy bottle, which replaces the one I used, so that's good. They're hanging out in front of that door. And I think I'll go right up here. We'll see if there's anything up here. No, it's just some dude hanging out. Alright, have fun. Well, let's, um, I guess we'll get going to the port. Um, I'll go ahead and walk to, like, the exit of town. And then I'll probably, well, yeah, I'll probably cut to the port just to make things a little faster. It's no big deal. We need Mogilu back, though. I also need to remember that cat's chest. What the fuck was that? Oh. That was kind of weird that it was on the, um... The, um... The staircase. Wasn't this blocked off? Oh, this was totally blocked off before, but now it's not. Well, okay, I'm gonna go take a look then. <laughs> um, yeah, let's look. And if I can get 95 right now, like in town, then that'd be all the better. Uh, so I'm gonna look around. Eh, we're okay. Alright, let's go talk to this person. Anything over here? Nope. Hey, gotta get that first. Get some light bottle. Pretty nice. Alright, what up, person? High Priest Gideon is an honest and righteous man. He's dedicated his life to his faith and to the church. Now, as the representative of the clergy, he's thrown his full support behind the abbey. Hmm. So, he's a man of principle. That's right. He even donated his personal savings to support orphanages and hospitals. So be at ease. For he offers up prayers for all equally, even for the more dubious among us, such as yourselves. Right. I'm so grateful. I can feel the tears of gratitude coming. Any moment now. Any moment. All right, Velvet. Calm down. It looks like we can just go in here. Oh, well shit. Same thing. Oh my god, there is a lot going on in here. Well, um, I'm glad I came over here. There's apparently a lot going on going on in here. We also just got a calcite fragment, which is really good. Outrageous! Why doesn't the Abbey crack down on the taverns? They are dens of evil that dispense only luxury, temptation, and escape. They must be stopped. I'd rather they didn't. That place over there has the best drinks in town. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I mean. They tempt us into wickedness, ruining man and woman alike. The more you drink, the happier and more joyful you get. All the important things in life stop mattering. Their Mabo curry is delicious. <laughs> no, no, no. See, even children are being tempted by their evils. Eating both Mabo and curry together, it's heresy. There is a limit to the amount of luxury one can endure. What the world needs now is abstinence, austerity, restraint. If you want to deny yourself, go ahead and do it. But don't force your beliefs onto others. People eat to live. Some even live to eat. It's part of being human. Velvet. That's pretty convincing coming from you. Leave me alone. D hey, I want to eat and drink to my heart's content too. But doing so makes us no better than animals. In order for humanity to survive these harsh times, we need to overcome our instincts and act like rational beings. So basically, no fun allowed. Alright. You keep being a fucking stick in the mud. Have fun with that. 
come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here! Quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's... about how I figured it'd go. You know, Velvet, I really don't recommend you actually go do that. Because you just randomly told this priest, well, I killed everyone, I broke out of tr prison, I destroyed a town, I stole a ship. Like, you know there are, like, exorcists all over the place. You you told them you are going to kill the shepherd. Like, calm down. I know you wanted to be a snarky bitch, but... You got you to gotta show a little restraint. Please be Shepherd Artorius. Thanks to him, people have started worshipping the Empyreans again. Now our salvation is at hand. The Empyreans? They are the gods that created the world? Yeah. The four Empyreans each rule one of the four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. I read in a book that Empyrean worship is the oldest form of human religion. The Midgan Church also worshipped the Empyreans. But because we've had peace and prosperity for so long, true belief in them has slowly faded. So now that people are frightened of the demon blight, they're clinging to their once forgotten gods. Wait a minute. Maybe Artorius is using religion to manipulate the people into following him. Oh, great Empyreans! Please grant Shepherd Artorius the strength to save your humble servants. If that's the case, he's done a damn fine job of it. Pretty much. Well, what's up here? That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts, but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches. The mathematical logic. The structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative, to celebrate the continent's unification. In other words, a show of power. That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper and a Demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what it'll look like when it's finished. Well, maybe we'll find out. Who knows? Maybe in centuries we'll know what it looks like. This is totally probably a thing in this area. If this is friggin' Pendrago's, like, um, lower entrance below the church. If this whole part right here is Pendrago. Which, God, it might be. Fuck. This just 
This might just be Pendrago. I don't know, like, I would have to look at the map and, like, actually- I would need to look at Zysteria's map and this map and, like, actually, actually, like, dig into it. But I wouldn't be surprised. Because we're talking, like, centuries of, like, a tomb being created. And I- God, I don't remember. So, I don't know. But for now, we're just gonna go back to the port. So, I'll probably cut there, so I'll see you when we get there. Or not. Greetings, Magilu's Menagerie. You've come to exactly the right place. You must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a Code Red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <sighs> and let me guess. That's where the Blood Wings come in. Exactly. There are Blood Wings all throughout Midgand who have information on these Code Red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so... Here. Take this. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those code red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these code red demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those blood wings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. Alright, so you can use an Enoch bottle by pressing L2 while you're in town or field in the... Oh, that's actually really nice. So you can just teleport to... 2 and 4. To, like, Port Zexon. Oh, well, that makes things so much easier. If you have them. Um, for now, though, delicious dishes. Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Rokuro? Mabo curry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo curry that much, huh? It smells good. And it's creamy and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it, then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar, right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes? Sounds good. Uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. Well, give me the recipe for the sweet potatoes. Blah, 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 good luck. So, I thought they were going to give me, like, more information on, like, possibly one around us. But, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna warp back. <laughs> just to make it a little easier. Um, I might go ahead and, like, walk to there. Because we only have two. 
or one now. Uh, maybe if I look at the store real quick, actually, maybe I'll see how many I can, like, if I can buy some. If I can buy some, that'd be nice. No, they only sell fucking Denoir bottles. Well, that sucks. I was kind of hoping I could buy a few. That'd be perfect for the, for the Let's Play. But oh well. Nothing wrong with a little walk. Um, what am I at on... Okay, I need three more souls. And then we can finally open that chest. And I swear to God, if that chest doesn't give me something, um, I'm going to be a little mad, a little peeved. Hey, man. Have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been, but we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it! Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser. Yep, you're completely right. I like how Velvet was, like, concerned about him, like... Should you really be talking about something like that here? It's like, she she literally just, like, said in a church that she'd escaped prison, killed a bunch of dudes, stole a ship, and lit a city on fire. The guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. All right, well, let's get let's head in there. Wait, did this first. Oh man, I have 30 of those, so it doesn't really matter. That's a lot of red boxes. All right, Crates. blow them up. These must be our targets. The seal of Midgand Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. <laughs> We're done here. Let's go. That storm cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorius as soon as possible. Oh no. It's you! Oh hey, the crybaby. Eleanor Hume! Oh, well, okay. We're just getting right into it. Wasn't expecting to run into Eleanor all of a sudden. There's one. Oh, wow, the other one already died. Good job, guys. Sorry, Eleanor. I actually feel bad. I think you're a sweet person. I think you have your heart in the right place. I just don't like the, who, you're, who you're working with. So I'm just gonna wreck your face in. And you're done. <laughs> Jesus. Willing to fight without your Malachim? No. You set the storehouse ablaze? People have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis. How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built? Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malakim up her sleeves. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor! Come and face me now, demon! <gasps> He's adorable. Uh... Am I? Ooh, I found you at last. That bad, bad voice! The Enfu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Not her! No! W what are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? It is! Fire! 
The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. Let me go! Witch nippers! Madam Exorcist! What happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Y yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine, provided by High Priest Gideon, to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church? Why would anybody destroy it? I feel like we're doing really bad things. I don't know how I feel about all this. <laughs> Unlocks level 2 random skills. Okay, thanks. Whew. Looks like we're in the clear. <laughs> Misfortune and anguish! I had that little turncoat right in front of me! Well, at least now I know where to find him! That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same, the Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. Let's oh man. So is she with me again, or did she leave? I don't even know sometimes. Mogilu is such a weird person. <laughs> it's like she she's starting to have like Marta syndrome. Left the party. Join the party. Left the party. Literally three seconds later, join the party. <laughs> Good. Thanks for joining. Um, what did I want? Oh yeah, I wanted to check the expedition. Take a look at this. Can I get some wins? Oh motherfucker! I keep going. I keep getting only one. Damn it! All right, go again. I should get a level up on that one. All right, I think I'm gonna just cut there because I don't want to waste my bottle just in case I can use it another time. So I'll see you when we get there. Oh god! All right, we're back. Coming in right now. I actually um went ahead and fought a few enemies, so everyone is 16 now. Because Velvet got level up against uh, Eleanor. And let's go ahead and save real quick. And also, uh, I've got a couple mastery things done for my equipment. So I should probably go and mess around with that once we enter the village. Or city. So let's do that real quick. So, got the calcite garment done, which I think is still like the only thing she can wear at the moment. But maybe I'll like upgrade it later. Um, also, she got the Earth Ring done, so what can I put on her? I can put on the Aqua Ring, the Wind Ring, which I think I'll do the Wind Ring. Yeah. And I think that is it. As for Laffy Set, he has the Battle Boots done, so he needs to do some Amber Boots. Um, probably... Is that our attack would be nice. Oh, those are calcite. I want to. Oh no, he's okay. Okay. So we do need this. So yeah, let's just throw those on him. Rokuro finished his thing right there. So he needs a waistcoat done. It's gonna be a lot of defense loss, but I want him to get it done. Then the Amber Daggers he finished off, so I guess we're going to have him switch to the Foreign Daggers. Really weak again, because I, I probably should have worked on them first, but oh well. We'll have him work on that now. And then for my boy Aizen, um, should probably have him work on the Amber Pendant. So we'll do that first. And then as for this, did he do, he's done Amber Boots and Battle Boots now, so I guess I'll give him the last Calcite. So there you go. And then the Crying Exorcist returns. Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius 
have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four, one ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything Luffy said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him. Oh man. Oh, was that a different one? Yeah, because we didn't even talk about, um... We didn't even talk about Eleanor, so... I don't even know what skit that was. It was just randomly before the one I thought I was picking. But let's do this one next. What's the deal with you and that exorcist Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes. He's still a Moloch. That means Magilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor. Face me now, demon. <laughs> right? <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> if you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Uh, all right. Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Knock it off. Huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy said. Uh, all right. Oh, Rokuro's such a good guy. Freaking Velvet ruining fun. I love Rokuro, like, hanging out with Laffy and being like, Hey, you can laugh, dude. Try it out. It's fun. He's like a, he's like a nice big brother. So sweet. Alright, so we arrived back here, so let's go turn in this quest. That was adorable! God damn it! Um, also, we have enough um, souls, so we should probably go check on that chest. So I'll go do that first, before we uh, go turn in this quest. God, it was so cute. I wonder if this store actually sells the bottles. Nope. Alright, cool. And by cool, I mean, fuck you. If I don't get something out of this one, I'm going to be a little peeved, a little mad, you know? I'm not gonna, like, cause a big scene or anything in town, but gonna be a little mad, to be honest. Hey, the cats! <gasps> we get the top hat! Yes! All right, that's a, that's cool. Yeah, boy. Did I get something new? Oh no, okay. Top hat is pretty fucking top. Um, let's uh, take that off. I'm gonna put on. Oh my god, it's adorable. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cute. 
Look at the little laughy. His hair's clipping a little bit. You can, I guess I could edit that if I really cared. But I'm probably going to take this off right away. But I just wanted to see the laughy in the top hat. That's adorable. Um, what about everyone else? Just to take a look. Not as cool. Perfect. That's perfect the way it is. I don't know. I think Lapisa takes the cake. It's really goddamn awesome. <laughs> Alright. I'm not too crazy about having accessories in my cutscenes. So that's why I don't like throw it on. Who are you? Oh yeah, they're one of the blood wings. Oh yeah, so that, that... Okay, so that bat was one of the ones. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we beat the bat. Okay, so I didn't know if that was one of the um, enemies that they were talking about. So, good thing I beat that while I was in there. And then this one is in the Gall Gallus Lake Road. Oh, it's a fucking echidna. Level 17. Unlocks intense battle difficulty. Yeah, we're, we'll go ahead and take it. Well, we can't take it, but we'll try and uh, take them out. It looks like they all unlock like some sort of thing which is pretty cool well I'm glad I beat that bat when I saw it so cool all right so how you doing trouble at the docks was there well so long as the job was done pretty much so I guess we're gonna just go down the line Find and bring back a scholar named Mendy, who disappeared along the Gallus Lake Road. Sure. Luck. I look forward to hearing your report.